Well, it could be the biggest movie surprise of the summer, the success of Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which hit number one at the box office this weekend. Some viewers are actually comparing it to one of the biggest hits of recent years. Which one? Well, CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano has more on movie fans going ape. It's an animal uprising that leaves critics in the dust. Rise of the Planet of the Apes has climbed to the top of the box office ladder, raking in $54 million domestically and another $24 million overseas, about $20 million more than analysts expected. I think audiences like that built-in brand recognition, and this is a franchise of films that has been around since the 60s. The film tells the story of how an army of apes evolved to take over the world from their human masters, a prequel to the original sci-fi classic released in 1968. But unlike the original and Tim Burton's 2001 remake, Rise wasn't made with actors wearing ape suits, but with cutting-edge motion capture technology that blends movement with high-res computer graphics. The result? A visual experience so lifelike, even facial expressions appear remarkably clear. Moviegoers couldn't have been more impressed. I thought it was fantastic. The animation, it, it just looks so real. I liked it, but I wanted to know if they were human beings. <laughs> Rise was also well received by critics, who praised the film for using technology to enhance the performances of actors like Andy Serkis, who famously played Gollum in Lord of the Rings, calling this new movie an experience on par with visual epics like James Cameron's 2009 blockbuster, Avatar. I think that the expression on the face of the apes in the trailer really got people excited about the movie. They were so expressive, the eyes, I mean, that was really important, I think, to people saying, you know what, this is different. This isn't your grandfather's Plan of the Apes. I got to go see this. Rise is expected to easily surpass its $93 million price tag, once again proving that in Hollywood, even monkey business can pay off. Len Quijano, CBS News, New York.